Leave the door open. Okay, Jason, can you hold off on the packages for a minute? I mean, I don't care if you're in the video. Get over here. Just don't make noise. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm Becky. If you've never been here before, and if you have, welcome back. Today, I'm going to make some fudge, cookies and cream fudge. I got my nice fudge pan here that my grandma gave me. Anyway, so this video will not be re real detailed because I'm, what I'm, how I'm doing this is I'll be making my vanilla fudge, which I have a very detailed video for that if you haven't seen it. I'll be making my vanilla fudge and then I'll be turning it into cookies and cream or cookies and creamy fudge because it will be so creamy. And the only other thing that I'm doing different is I will be using almond milk instead of regular milk uh, be just because I'm out of regular milk. And I used almond milk for my peanut butter fudge video and it turned out great. It was so creamy, I couldn't even tell the difference. So I'm gonna do the almond milk with this and see how it goes, but it should be just fine. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna put this on the stove with all my ingredients and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so this is how I prep my marble slab. Spray it with Pam. And my tools and I'm about to go get my fudge on the stove because it's ready. I'm gonna let this cool on my marble slab for about nine minutes and then I'll start to work with it. I have my loaf pan here that I'm gonna put it into. I've sprayed it with pan, lined with aluminum foil. So first thing I do is I'm gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. Getting a little low on vanilla. I usually get my vanilla at TJ Maxx because they got the good kind there and you can get it for a decent price. All right, so here we go. Just start working with it. You can see it's like almost translucent right now, but um, that will change. And just work with it until it starts to lose its gloss. Sometimes it takes a little bit, but I'm telling you what, when you make fudge this way, it is the best fudge you will ever have. And that's, I mean, and I can't say that's my opinion. Although it is my opinion, it's also a fact. But one thing you can never do when you make this fudge, never double the recipe. Okay, well, my video just shelf midstream. Not sure why. At this point, I'm gonna, hopefully I was actually video, videoing. And I don't want my cabinet. I hope you don't see that. My door came off my cabinet. Okay, so at this point, I'm just gonna crush up my Oreos and put them in there. This is just like seven. There's no certain amount or minimal or maximum amount. Well, I mean, you don't want to put too many in there. But, um, okay. 
Let me get myself situated here. And that's when it becomes cookies and cream. Oh, I wish y'all could see this close up. It's really close, getting close to being done. Let me try to bring that forward some. This is gonna be so good. So, so good. And you can like chop up the, chop your cookies up a little bit like that with your little sheetrock tool. <laughs> Got this at Lowe's. You see how that just transformed? Remember how translucent it was whenever we first started? And now it's just got this nice color to it. This is fudge right here. And it is time. It is time to put it in the loaf pan. So here we go. Here we go, just scoop it up like that. That's why I like it, cause this thing just gets all of it. Just scoops it right up. And then I just try to smooth that out a little bit. Just a little bit, make it, try to make the pieces a little more even. But I don't like it to be completely flat. I just right like that. There it is. Lighting's not very good with it. Okay. Alrighty. That's it in the pan and it will set up in no time and be ready to cut. Mm. Now is the moment for the unveiling of the fudge. It just lifts, lifts right out of the, that loaf pan. Cookies and cream fudge. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to try it. I made me some coffee because it's like, I don't know, three o'clock and I haven't had any coffee today. I'm going to have some coffee with my fudge. I sprayed my knife with a little bit of Pam. is that 
big hunk of Oreos. Jacob, if this didn't have butter in it, you could eat it. I'm going to try that one day, making a fudge with uh, some of that butter. Because you obviously, you know, I used almond milk for this, so... And when you cut it, you will get the little crumbles, but you know, that's just that's just what real fudge does. There's always almond butter too. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna try that, I am. I could not help myself. I ate one of those crumbs. I'm gonna get my coffee and have a piece. First, let me get a sip of my coffee. Coffee and fudge. Let me take a this. You know there is a difference when you close your eyes when you're eating. It just seems like it makes it more of an experience because you can really concentrate on what you're doing but this is good y'all don't know what you're missing you've got to try you've got to learn how to make this fudge I'm just admiring my work. What, Jacob? Go where? <laughs> 